Rob the Car Guy here, and today I am just cranking out some viewer request videos. And right now, I'm creating a video on the windshield washer fluid reservoir tank. Now, the description is obviously in the name, but it is a tank that holds all of your windshield washer fluid. And in these cars, I've noticed that uh, they tend to crack. I've had a, more than a few viewers actually asking about this job, mostly because they put in windshield washer fluid and then they have a windshield washer fluid puddle on the ground. So obviously it's not doing its job and it is cracking. What's funny about this is I had this vehicle before I ever started Ride the Car Guy and I actually had that issue. I had already removed the tank and I had fixed it myself. The combination of like super glue and hot glue and whatever I had lying around. It worked uh, for a while, two years, but it seems to be leaking again. The leak's not as bad and it could be from another portion of the tank, who knows, but I'm going to pull it out again today for you to show you how to do it and uh, fix up that tank. Okay, so chalk your rear wheels, uh, take off the tire, and get the truck into the sky, uh, but not in that order. All right, let's go. Now, once, uh, once you have that removed, really, you just want to take out the body panels and the screws for the interior wheel well. That will include taking off this mud guard and all the screws around the, the rim of the wheel well. On the interior, it's just going to be like body panel clips, but on the outside, they're actual screws. So just take a look around, follow the edge, and take out each screw that you see, take out the interior body clips, and then we're just going to pull the entire uh, wheel well out. Now, don't forget, there's actually some on the front edge, on the bottom of the front bumper, and there's actually one on the back of the splash guard, holding up the rear of the splash guard. So, uh, once those are out, and the clips are out, you just take this front lip and pull it down over top of these tabs. Same with the front here. There we go. And then just pull the whole wheel well splash guard out. Now, I know I kind of harp on cleaning, uh, quite a bit, but uh, what we really want to do here is take the opportunity to clean these sections out. Now underneath here, a lot of garbage collects. Even with our guard in here, there's a lot of things in here and in the splash guard that you do not want sitting against your, uh, against your steel. So this is where, if you notice, if you look at a lot of trucks, where the rusting starts is usually where there's a seam. So like up in the top of the wheel wells, down here. Um, you, you'll get a lot of spaces where that's where the rust begins because that's where stuff sits and then freezes and thaws and rots and all that. So uh, take this opportunity, grab a shot back, suck it out, and then uh, move on. If your washer pump died, then that's just right here. So uh, you can actually just remove the electrical connector right here just by clicking this little button and pulling it off. And then, uh, there we go, we'll pull that off there. Kind of set that aside. And then... Uh, really, you just disconnect it from here and pull it off. But we're actually going to pull off the entire unit, um, mostly because it is, uh, it's broken, right? The actual casing, this actual casing here is broken. So uh, there's just a few bolts you want to take off. There's just two right up above, and I'll show you those in a minute here. You want to remove those, and then we actually need to take the nozzle from, uh, the, from the top where you actually pour it in. That needs to get removed as well, mostly because it's just an obstruction. Also remove this red connector. The large one, the black one is power. This is actually the sensor that tells you uh, when you're low. So just remove that as well. That's connected to the very far uh, back, the rear of the tank. Now if you still have fluid in your tank, which I do, uh, you're gonna wanna drain it. And you can actually just drain it pretty easily by taking uh, one or both of these hoses off of the pump and all the fluid will start coming out. I just literally took a funnel and put it back in the container that, uh, that it came in. And so I'm just gonna set it under here like this and then pull this off and then it will drain just like that. Now to remove the neck, you just have a little black, uh, sort of like a body clip connector that's holding it onto the, uh, the antifreeze reservoir. So if you just put your little clip remover in there, you can pull that right off. And then the rest is actually just uh, like a pressure fit into the tank itself. So if you leave those uh, bolts on, on the tank and the wheel well, you can actually just pull on this and it should just come right out. There we go. 
So there's just a rubber grommet on the tank itself, and then you have this sort of flange here that you just push into it, and uh, that will just uh, snap it in, and you don't have to worry about it, but to pull it out, you literally just yank. Now the last thing we need to do is just take these two 10 millimeter bolts out, and the whole tank should slide out. All right, be sure to support it. And then just slide it out. And so here's the entire tank. It's obviously uh, meant to fit the wheel well. But as you can see, if I turn it around here, this is where my original crack was, is in the very bottom of the tank. So my, my tank wasn't holding any liquid at all. So the fact that I was able to drain so much out of it means that my crack is further up. And so what we can do, since there's still fluid in the tank, is if you just rotate the tank along the seam, because the seam is all the way around the outer edge. So if you just take your tank and rotate it around that seam, obviously be careful of where the, uh, the inlet pipe is, but if you keep rotating it until you see dripping, you'll know that that's where your crack is, and that's where you need to go in and actually do your repair. Now my repairs seem to have uh, actually held up since it's, actually, it's leaking from somewhere else. What I did to do my repair is I literally took uh, like super glue, and then I super glued it and let it dry, and then I took uh, hot glue, and then I glued over top that seam as well. So, uh, you know, obviously if you have a better way of doing it, certainly put it in the comments below and let us know what you did, but this one actually seems to have uh, held up for at least two years now. So I'm going to find the other crack, I'm going to do that fix, and then I'm going to reinstall it. Now you know what I'm going to say next. The installation is the opposite of the removal. So that is it for the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I will see you in the next one.